Hello, and welcome to another AdventureCraft tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be covering how to create a one-way door. What allows us to do this is an additional block beyond the basic trigger tutorial, um, and this block is the trigger memory block. How this block works is, well, upon being triggered, it will trigger its target, but it won't detrigger its target when the blo memory block itself gets detriggered. What instead, it requires another uh, uh, trigger block to, to instead um, reset the memory block, and this will then unset the memory variable, and it will detrigger its target. So let's go ahead and go on to making the one-way door. First off, um, this green block here that has the M on it, this is our trigger memory. Um, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create the door. So we're just going to get the three by three door. Alright, this will work as our door. Uh, now we're going to want triggers on both sides of the door. One side's going to be the, uh, will let us through, and the other side's going to immediately close the door and keep it closed. Now, beyond just that, we're going to also need our uh, memory block. For the moment, we're just going to stick it over here. It doesn't really matter where it's stuck, because interacting with it does not do anything beyond, except for a trigger block. It's just a meta block, basically. So, first off, um, let's have the memory block set up so it's going to point to the door. Alright, so we have the door selected as we can see. So we come over here, we right click on the memory block, and we're going to tell it to use the current selection. And so now, whenever the memory block gets triggered, it triggers the door. Now, select the memory block. We're going to have this side of the door be the uh, one that closes it. Use the current selection. So now, if I go into this, I see this uh, door is closed and it's not reopening at all. all right. So now let's go to the other side because we're going to need this side to be the uh, side that lets me through. We said use current selection and we're going to set it set to reset the target. And now we exit out of there. We can see the door is still closed. I go here, it's now oh, open. Go through there, it's closed. So now we've got a one way door that won't let me in as long as I'm going from the other side. All right. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to create a one way door using the trigger memory block. 